Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Yesterday evening, I posted a video about the sheer brass neckery of Nicola Sturgeon, claiming that women's rights had been eroded in Scotland and that there'd been a rise in misogyny. Yes, I know, I couldn't believe it either. But it turns out I'm not the only one mocking this. Uh, she's been accused of an astounding lack of self-awareness after she made these comments and pushed back against the, these these things that she herself had helped bring around. All this anti-women and misogyny that she pushed under the Gender Recognition Act, and yet sits there now and saying, oh, isn't it terrible? Isn't it bad? Well, hoist with your own petard, Nicola. Hoist with your own petard. The former SNP leader, she sat there and she was making these comments. Um, she did that on Thursday night. And she was uh, speaking uh, in Edinburgh, uh, some launch of some book or something. I think it was uh, Lady Macbeth, I think, by um, her pal, uh, Val McDermott. Soon to be wife, wouldn't surprise me. Uh, Sturgeon, she's previously come under fire from women's rights groups um, for her apparent sort of support for the trans rights so that men can pretend to be women and wander in to changing room and things and whip out their tackle in front of uh, women and young girls. And she says that's perfectly OK when she was in power, when she was needing the Greens. But now she's out and she's realised, oh, no, we don't want that after all. And all these people are complaining about it. And she's realised perhaps far too late that this has caused her downfall. Well, that, of course, being so closely aligned to all the criminality and corruption in the heart of the SNP. But she, of course, was leader of the SNP when all this gender recognition BS went through and passed. There was eventually Section 35 by Alistair Jack, who uh, did the right thing to save the uh, the rights, freedoms and protecting the safety uh, of women and girls in Scotland. Um, and then, of course, you have, uh, what's his face uh, already? Hamza Yousaf. Wow. Uh, who was that bloke? Um, Hamza Yousaf, of course, he, he came, he tried to turn it over in the courts, and the court said, no, get out of here. Very humiliating. One of his many, many court losses. Uh, but then, it, you know, that's the SNP way, isn't it, losing? Uh, but anyway, she was she was speaking at this event um, on Thursday night, and she said there was something uh, about the, the, you know, the, the release of her book, uh, Val McDermott's book, uh, about Lady Macbeth, and it sort of reminded her of the terrible treatment of women and all this. Well, you know, you couldn't you couldn't make it up. You could not make this up that she was doing this. So, of course, um, she was talking about this new book and she was going on about these, these rides and saying, oh, isn't it terrible? Isn't it terrible? Anyway, her comments come out now that she's said these things. And then there was all this uh, all this flurry, I suppose, of criticism from everybody, from anyone who was anybody in the women's rights groups. And, of course, of course most notably... Um, you've got J.K. Rowling and she, uh, you know, she's been fighting for this, um, this whole business of hate and thing. Um, and she's saying that it's, uh, it, 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 it's, it's funny how she's saying it's funny how, uh, Humzi, how Nicola Sturgeon is saying these things. Now she's out of power and, uh, she, she went on and on oh, X, I keep saying X, I hate it, Twitter. Uh, to respond to this. And she said, whale hate and harpooning is on the rise, warns Captain Ahab, which I thought was a lovely little uh, sort of pushback. Um, and then you have Megan Gallagher, and she was saying that, uh, she's the one who said Nicola Sturgeon's lack of self-awareness is totally astounding. Um, she said that there have been fewer big pushbacks against women's rights than her reckless gender ID policy. And of course she's right. It, it, it all stems, it all stems from the hijacking by uh, Nicola Sturgeon of this gender BS and going, oh, well, well, I need it. I need something. I need desperately need something that I can hang me hat on sort of thing. And she pushed it. And now she's sitting at the back end of it. And all the lesbians hate it. And of course, Val McDermott, big lesbian uh, in both senses of the word, uh, said, you know, it's wrong. It's wrong. We're, we're, we're suffering. And it's like, oh, my God, I've upset my best pal. I've upset my best pal. My bestie's upset. I better say the other thing. Exactly the complete opposite of what I was saying just a few months ago or a year ago when I was in power. Um, but, of course, um, all these things are completely right. I mean, you, know, you don't know whether to, to laugh or, 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 or abuse Nicola Sturgeon's brass neck for it. Um, 
they're all up and doing it. I mean, you've got Hanvey from, what's it, Alba. He's up there saying, well, look at the hypocrisy. You know, this, it's all the hypocrisy and gaslighting, I think he's, what his words were, because she's trying to turn herself away from having this legacy of failure, this legacy of being divisive, this legacy of being anti-women, anti-women's safety. She's realised it's not a good look. The optics are incredibly bad. And so she's trying to repair it. She's trying to make herself look out as though she's the grand, caring mother of Scotland, you know, the female godhead who will take care of all of Scotland's ills. Remember, Scotland's mammy will make it right. Scotland's mammy's the one that's ripping the plasters off and breaking the necks, you know. She's the sort that would... She, she's the one that runs down after the battle and spears the survivors, you know, spears the injured. That's what she is. And now she's trying to claim, oh, I'm virtuous, I'm wonderful, I really care about women's rights, etc. What a load of old rubbish. This is the woman, of course, who couldn't even admit that Isla Bryson, Adam Graham as he really is, uh, was even a man. You know, if you oh no, he must go into a ladies, he must go into a ladies' prison. He must go into a ladies' prison, she said, and then realised she said he went. It, uh, the, 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 this individual kept going. This individual couldn't even admit it, and yet now what? Locking up, locking up a man who did that to women in a prison full of women. Oh God, you know, and now she's claiming she's all for women's rights and women's safety. What a load of old bollocks. Um, and of course, when we're talking about it, of course, uh, just as a, a highlight, uh, what's her name? Rowling came out as well and uh, was moaning about uh, Swinney because uh, she she accused him of bluster and bollocks because he still, to this day, cannot say what, what, a, man, what a woman is. He was asked on Thursday if he believed that trans women were women and he refused to answer and ran away and hid because he knows he can't answer. He knows full well they're not. But he can't say that because he might upset the Greens and he's reliant on the Greens. So rather than giving an answer, it's easier for him to run away. Um, you know, they're all there. They're all at it because they dare, they dare stand up. Not one of them have got balls, unfortunately. Well, obviously all the trans do, but all these politicians don't. Uh, and then on top of that, at first when the cast report came out, uh, uh, Sturgeon was like, oh, well, you know, blah, 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 blah. We need to look at it more. We need to study it more. Her way of saying, I don't know yet what answer I should give because I don't know who I'm going to upset the least. They're all cowards, aren't they? We're absolute cowards. Anyway, I shall leave that one there. We'll let um, Sturgeon stew in her own juices of hypocrisy and cant. We all know what she is, and it doesn't matter what she says now. Her reputation lies in tatters. She is a hate-filled little bint and hopefully will never see power again, although I think she's desperate for it. Anyway, cheers. Speak soon. Bye.